Whoa, we're back already? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Blaze Place. I am your host, Blazing Knight, or Lewis, and welcome to Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex strikes back for the Sony PlayStation released in 1997, just one year after the original Crash Bandicoot. And if those of you are thinking, one year, they can't make that much of an improvement. Oh no, no, no. They made one hell of an improvement. Crash Bandicoot 2 is one of the best sequels ever made, like right, right up there with the recent Let's Play Mega Man 2 and all that stuff. Crash Bandicoot 2 is a fantastic game. So let's get straight to into it. Uh, I'm not going to talk for a bit because I want this cutscene to play out and there's no subtitles. <laughs> Crystals, of course. Oh. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. But Dr. Cortex, to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Crash? Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Why well, don't you just keep spares on standby, Coco? Yeah, Crash's sister Coco. So anyway, Crash Bandicoot 2. So this is just, this is level, hold on, let me just pause it and show you. This is level zero um, intro. Basically, you, it'll give you an idea of what to do. So as you can see, Crash's running animation has been, you know, is different. The animation in this game is so fucking smooth. Hold on. Yeah. Just look at it, it's so smooth, it's got such a nice flow. It's just beautiful. So, you know, still run and spin, just, everything's been tweaked. The control, he's not nearly as heavy, he's just right. The Akaraku boxes, he has new moves, he has to slide and then slide jump. The slide jump you'll be using a lot because it gives like an extended jump, it lets you jump further. So you can spin and slide, stuff like that. Jump and circle button, belly flop. And you can also crawl. You only need to use that in certain bits, but you know, still run and jump, that's the way through. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 also has analog control in certain versions. Some of them, like the one I'm playing, um, the um, UK version, PS2, I'm playing this on, the, I'm using the PS1 disc, this isn't like a download. Um, has analog control, so that's fine. Um, I'm used to using Crash with a D-pad though, so I might switch between, you know, <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to the analog control, but I'm, I'm so used to D-pad over the years. So here we are, in a brand new world, with a brand new attitude. Crash Bandicoot 2. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I needed your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. <laughs> so yeah, so the object of this game is to get, if you can see there, um, you can get a crystal and gems in certain levels. There's always at least one gem in a level and what there's always one crystal. Some gem levels have extra gems either colored or normal. So new to this game, you can actually tap, you have five stages, kind of like Mega Man, which you could tackle in order. And I like that about the game, you can just choose whichever one you want to go to and do stuff and there's actual secrets for the gems you collect. Also, you can load and save the game just by going up to here. Much, much appreciated Naughty Dog, thank you. So for this, you know, I'm just gonna say it here. So yeah, I've played this game quite a number of times. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna save over this part. All right? Yep. Ah, uh, just crash me. <laughs> there isn't any empty ones. So I'll just go with that. If it's empty, you can call it whatever you want. So we're gonna start. We're gonna be unoriginal. Let's go to level one. The only thing I worry about this game, I'm gonna say now, sometimes my disc is a little old, so certain levels, it might freeze on the loading screen, which is gonna suck. So anyway, level one, let's go. So we're still in the very organic, oh shit. Hold on a second. Um, I'm gonna do, all right, I made a mistake. Give us a minute. 
<laughs> Those who have played the game know that if you um, in order to get one of the secret um gems, you have to not break a single box in the level. So I was I wasn't focusing on that. So yeah, so we're gonna do that. So as you can see, very organic levels, and I died purposely in World One because you know I'm also gonna do that on the way back. So yeah, very organic level. This is mud. You know, you can't spin. You just have to jump through it. But like the level design is still very much the same. But these first couple levels are so good, at just teaching you everything, just through the through the the, the way they design and everything. You no know, jumping, spinning, and all that jazz. And because of Crash's um, thing, it's so easy to pull off like stuff like this. Just really easy to move, jump, spin, and all that jazz, just effortlessly. It, it feels Crash feels just right in this game. He feels perfect. And Crash Free follows the same engine, so you know feels perfect in that too. If you just tap the button, you'll do a hop. If you jump and spin, you'll do that. So yeah, um, jump on this box, this one, or jump over it, you know, whichever works. I'm going to show this off. Um, you fall down here, you have to fight these little like mice or anything, or stuff like that, and you get a mushroom to bounce on. You can cheese it, and I'll show you in the, in the next bit. So yeah, uh, yeah, this is yeah. See if you. Oh, hold on. There we go, yeah. Okay, so that was the so slide jump helps you get like across some um, big jumps and can help you like get up places um, early and stuff like that. It's a really good amount of cheats. If you, if you, all right, here's the thing. All right, here's the blue gem. If you get zero boxes in the level, you get the blue gem. Um, how would you find that out? Basically, if you go through here, like on the second time, before you got the gem, you come back here and say zero, how many boxes you got out of zero, which basically means don't get any boxes. It's kind of weird, but what the hell. Anyway, Banzai! So yeah, now I'm gonna play for the level normally. But so with the spin, so with the slide, yeah, the slide is really good to get up to certain places and jump really big gaps. But if you know what you're doing, you can do the spin slide jump, which will lift you even further. And this is amazing what you can choose with it. So basically, yeah, you you slide, jump, and then like press jump and spin at the same time, or press spin slightly after you press jump. He crash jumps really high, and it's so useful. So yeah, Turtle Woods, pretty fun level, and also something to compliment, like, I've already talked about the graphics, and then you've got the rain effects, which are really nice, and just all the little thingamajigs, I quite cool again, and Belly Flop, Belly Flop you won't be using that much, but here and there, and there you go, now we're in a 2D section, different music and everything. This bit's a bit more challenging, and again, I love like, just the background, like the waterfall effect, it's so good. Everything about Crash 2 just feels right, I think... This is the best looking Crash game. Although Crash 3 does look better because there's more varied environments. Jump on those, you can't spin them. Um, Crash 2, it's just like... Like the, the improvement from Crash 1 to Crash 2 is incredible. It feels so good. You've got to wait for these. They've got to do 10 bounces on like thing, which is um, 5, which I much prefer. But yeah, this Crash 2 introduces us to the Nitro Kate. Kate, Kate. <laughs> Nitro Kate. Nitro Crate. One touch and it blows up. Don't touch it. Here, you got a slide jump twice. Oh, I missed it. Luckily, I can do this. <laughs> I love cheesing. You got a slide jump twice to get these. If you miss it, it is a little annoying. I remember when I was young, because I think if you slide jump normally, you can't get it. Yeah, you can't. It was a little annoying when I was young, but then I learned how to slide spin jump, which is great. Boom. Oh, I keep missing it. Oh yeah, that box, it destroys all nitro um, crates in the level. So you're gonna need to, if you wanna get the box gem, you're gonna need all those. Yes, box gems are back, ladies and gentlemen, but thankfully they've been well improved in the sense that you can actually die and get the gem still. Oh, happy, happy, happy day, ladies and gentlemen. Just, oh, because in the crash one, that was so fucking stupid. I hated that. So here you can die and still get the gem, and the difficulty is definitely much easier. In fact, Crash 2 is a little too, that's one thing I don't like about Crash 2, it's a little too easy. Even when you go after gems, aside from one or two levels, which are really dickish, not in a good way, Crash 2 is a really easy game. I think Crash 3 got it right with the difficulty where it's not too easy, not too hard, whereas Crash 1 was just a pain in the ass. So, off we go. Um, so, yeah, you can die now. Um, save systems. It's, just, it's pretty much fixed everything. See, look at that the way I bounced them. It's just so easy. Anything else off the top of my head? Still the free Aku Aku thing. There are no power-ups in this game, you have to wait for the crash and free to get power-ups. Um, but yeah, and then, um, once again, oh, I just, I'm just really enjoying this game. After playing Mega Man 2, it feels good to play this now, because I haven't played Crash in a while, not counting the Insane Trilogy. So it feels good to go back to my PlayStation Hero. Just love it. One thing I will say, for slide spin jump, even though I'm used to doing um, Circle X Square in, in like one motion, 
R two X um, square is probably R one. Sorry, X square is probably the easiest way to do it. So yeah, great gem. Let's go. And then look, a gem, a, a crystal, and two gems. Hey, funny. <laughs> Cock. So that's level one over. Nicely done. Uh, where are we going to go next? Level two or level something else? <laughs> level two or level something. Um, I usually save the figgy for last because thing Oh yeah, talk, there's death rats. We'll talk about those over. And yeah, we get the crash dance. Yo, I'm going to insert my um, thingamajig because why not? <laughs> oh, another cutscene. Let's go. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. So the Wi-Fi here is terrible. But anyway, so yeah, uh, let's go into level four. It levels the pits. Um, so the plot of Crash 2 is, you know, Cortex, he's discovered a new power source of crystals. He wants to use it to power his Cortex Vortex and take over the world. Crash is stupid, so he doesn't realize. Cortex has said he's turned over a new leaf, but Crash is an absolute idiot and doesn't realize, oh wait, maybe Cortex is wrong. And, ooh, invincibility, love it. So you're collecting crystals for him. We'll see in the next cutscene, Brio's gonna show up and say collect the gem because Brio had a falling out with Cortex. So they're after each other and Brio's sending his minions to um, kill us in these first couple of um, worlds. Yeah, just wanted to make sure. Excellent. Okay, <laughs> not one second. So, you know, that's the plot, and Franco crashes an idiot. Um, Coco comes in to warn the player, but it's redundant because the game already told us Cortex is evil, and the game is called Cortex Strikes Back. So, if the game was more vague, I would have bought it, but it's just, it, it's, it's redundant. Coco being there is really redundant. Also, yeah, Coco is in the new character in this game, Crash's sister, kind of like the Luigi or the Tails of um, Crash Bandicoot. She's also a tech wizard, and, you know, she's the smart one. She will, she gets a lot more use in Crash Insane Trilogy throughout the series and Crash 3 and stuff. What happened to Torna? Um, basically, all the soccer moms complained about her design, so she was booted off until Crash. Um, oh, I swear I jumped to that, the Kano bud. Until Crash Boom Bang. And she dumped Crash with Pinstripe, that cheating bitch, just because he has money and a Tommy gun. But I have heart! Oh yeah, those, those turtles, you can spin or slide into them. I prefer to... Oh, sorry. I prefer to personally spin, even though slide looks more comfortable. This spin looks a bit awkward. Alright, but here we begin one of the biggest problems oh, Crash 2 has. The backtracking, like, bad in Crash 1, uh-uh. Crash 2, way worse. It is horrendous in Crash 2. So I might be a bit slow, because I don't want to run too far ahead, but Jesus, man, it is really bad. Because again, the camera doesn't turn around, and you've got... See? I, I, I walked into that because I didn't fucking see it. So excuse me, but, uh, see what I mean? Your stuff comes out of you from nowhere, you're moving too fast, and you just get caught off guard. The backtracking in Crash 2 is absolutely dreadful, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone who's played the game will agree with me. It's, it's the worst of the series. Crash 3 gets it right, um, pretty right. Crash 1 was kind of bad. Crash 2, oh, And we're not the worst of it, ladies and gentlemen. This is just the start. So. Oh, come on, I jumped that time. Yeah, Crash also has quite a few death animations in this. <laughs> okay, that was just me. Oh, I'm already getting LP curse for God's sake. I'm gonna die more here. Even though I said it's easy, I'm gonna die more here than I did in Crash 1. Fucking LP curse, I hate it. Why? Not. This time, oh, I, I thought I wasn't going to make that, okay. But yeah, you need to backtrack if you want to get all the boxes. But, um, yeah, so the whole Coco thing is really redundant, and then she replaces Torna. But Coco's a fine character, I like her. Torna didn't really do much, though. They didn't really give her a chance, so it, it can go either way. I, I, I think it was a bit of a reaction with the design, but considering Crash sold so well, I reckon maybe they just had to, so, you know. Them's the brakes. So, yeah, I'm going to slow down a bit. Well, that helps. Good, good. Oh, good, I got checkpoint. Oof, that's close. Yeah, backtracking doesn't is not good. Good thing I didn't jump on that. Oh, see what I mean, ladies and gentlemen? Right, the taint hairs right here. All right, so I got all the boxes. I'm just gonna go around this way because I've cleared out pretty much all the enemies. 
I mean, to be fair, Crash 2 doesn't have backtracking at every level. Uh, you know, it's just when it does, oh, like digging it's a really bad. Cold Hard Crash is the absolute worst. We all know how bad that is. Everyone's played the game. Oh, when we get to this judgment, I will rage. It's, uh, it's considered the worst level in the Crash Bandicoot original trilogy. I'd agree with that. I, I mean, I hate Sunset Vista more, but Crash, Cold Hard Crash is way more dickish because of like the one invisible box and just like the fact that you have to kill yourself in order to get both gems in one um, in one sitting. It's in your know, one um, go through of the level. It's stupid. Oh yeah, these still these are like reinforced crates. You have to belly flop in order to get rid of them. Yeah, they don't really use the belly flop that much in this game. Kind of pointless if you ask me. And you know TNTs are back. Ooh. Oh yeah, and then you got slides. Yeah, this starts introducing more of the puzzle elements. Um, don't jump on all three of these. Only jump on the first and the third one. There we go. Boom. Why? Because you got to go back and get some thingy jigs. Also, whenever you know, whenever you play two D sections, I just recommend switch to the D pad if you are using the analog stick. If not, then well, you're fine. So, middle one. Oh, I forgot to jump on that one. Now I've got to wait. Oh well. I've got to do this a long way. Like if you crouch your jump, you do the super jump. It's better to slide because you have that momentum. Three. Oh, shit, shit, shit! Oh, sorry. Because I was holding X. Should have let go. Because I was holding X, it didn't go to the full 10. At least it's time I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Man, jump straight to level 4, it jumps 4 levels of difficulty. I don't usually have this much trouble, but you know, LP cars, you know how it's gonna be. Yeah, but the bonus stages this time, they're, all right, they're mandatory, so they're not really bonus stages, so to speak. But, you know, they are mandatory, and they're a bit more, you know, they're more involved this time, they're not so straightforward. And they're not the only means to save the game, thank fucking God. There we go. Yeah, but crashes are, like, the way his flip jump, and just the speed of it, and the timing of the animations, it just works. There we go. All good. I hope that went fourth the steel crate like Wonky Dick. If anyone wants to watch the SUV uh, Let's Play of Crash in the same trilogy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was oh fucking hell, Johnny, Johnny and Matt. They make for the best commentary. Um, my history of Crash Two is kind of funny. This is one of the. It wasn't like this is the fourth Crash Bandicoot game I played of the original. Like series, in the sense that I play Crash 3 first, then Bash, then Team Racing, then Crash 2, and then Crash 1. Oh god, why did I do Crash 1 last? <laughs> but yeah, um, I played this game quite a bit. I think this was the first. Was this the first one I 100 percented I can't remember. I think Crash. I think this one was the first I 100 percented Oh, get the get interesting transmission. So, you were helping Cortex gather crystals. Yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, to, to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g g gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser, <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystals. Oh God, what have I got myself into? Yeah, so yeah, that's the whole thing. Brio has come back. He wants to stop us because he had fallen out of Cortex. So the fact that we're allied with Cortex, we're his sworn enemy. So and he's gonna do anything in his power to, 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 to stop us. No. Oh god, no! Oh uh, no, I'm not Elliot. I'm not Elliot. So yeah, that's the thing. Brio was kind of the main villain for the first about four war rooms, then Cortex. Well, Cortex is the main bad guy, but Brio's trying to stop us with his forces and like the bosses and so on. And one thing, if people, all right, if, he, if it, you guys have been hearing in the background, the uh, music in this game, my favorite Crash soundtrack, it's, I love it. Crash 1 was more atmospheric, this one is way more bouncy, and it's, it's good stuff. Man, I saw that 3-4 is my favorite of the Crash soundtracks. 
I love Freeze, don't get me wrong, but Crash 2's, man. Also, Crash... Oh, another floor, Crash 2. Ice Physics! They're stuck in this game. And the, the thing is, Crash 3 has it too, but Crash 3 doesn't use it nearly as much. Crash 2 loves Ice Physics. But yeah, these snow levels, fucking hell, they look good! Alright, that was weird. Crash popped a bit, I didn't jump for some reason. Lewis, seriously! Whoa, I jumped! I hope it doesn't turn into that. Yeah, you know, the Crash series is something I like, I like to revisit like every year or so. Actually, one thing I've, I've been holding off for a while has been Zelda, man. I have not gone back to a Zelda game in ages. Oh, Majora's Mask. I love you. Yeah, the uh, Crash carries so much momentum, so you've got to be careful with his jumps. That's why I call it how Crash does, because it's nothing but ice physics throughout the most of the level. Yeah, not this time. Yeah, Crash doesn't have a delay on his jump, at least not a massive one, so that was just weird. But yeah, this music, man. Do, do, do. I also like how Crash um, 3 has a better balance of both 3D and 2D, whereas Crash 1, the 3D was just kind of, you just kind of ran in a straight line and the 2D sometimes dominated. It, was, it wasn't as balanced. This one is way more balanced. So yeah, these things, if you run underneath them, they crush you. There's a lot more just um, interesting obstacles here. Crash 2 is a very well, what the fuck, man? Crash 2 is a very well-focused game. Oh, this. All right, so you can't reach it normally with a thing jump, but I will show this area off, but I also want to show off the, a trick. Give us a second. Oh, did it wrong. Hold on a second. I can get this. I've done it, in, I've done it before. I'll do it again. Oh, no, no. Hold on a second. Oh, press it at the wrong time. Sorry. You gotta use R1. No, not too early. Oh, come on. Hold on a second. I'm really bad at this now. Fucking LP cut, you got it! There you go. I will show this area off, but there, you got the red gem, Marley. Boom. We're gonna need it for the next snow level. And another bonus room. Let's go. So be careful also, be careful in these bonus rooms, because again, the crash, see, like there, I wasn't impressed anything and I moved. Also, try and keep an eye on the ceiling, because Naughty Dog does like to hide boxes. Dickheads. Wait, we go. But Crash 2 soundtrack, man, what a soundtrack, I love it. And just look, look at the ambience, it's so good. Like, Naughty Dog did a great job with just a year, they really knew what they were doing with this game. For the most part. And even like, Crash's reflection, nice. Uh, when it comes, like, this is often considered the best Crash Bandicoot game, this or free. Depends on what your preference is. Uh, for me it's free, but people, like, um, some people like this one because it's just more focused and it's less gimmicks. There are some gimmicky levels, but it's um, not as many as Crash 3. Oh, 20 lives already, nice. I would have more, but I've died sometimes because it's stupid. Also, the box titles in this game can get ridiculously big. Nice. That's it. Hold the X button down once this is broken because you need to get the one of the boxes up there. Like this. There. There you go. Uh, also, Crash 2 also introduces it shows you how many boxes you've broken. Crash 3 will show you how many boxes there are in total so you have a better idea. Here it's just, um, this is how many you've broken. So yeah, you're always worried. Even like little details like Crash's breath, stuff like that. And look, Crash has like new idol animations too. He's filled with so much personality here. Just like, I think this is like the, this is the Crash we all know. This like bouncy, kind of cool, but silly at the same time dude. So yeah, I've got my first, two colored gems in the same um, room. Nice. Get yeah, one in um, the next room and one in the warp room after and one in the warp room after that. Colored gems also open up special gem platforms like before. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve a fifth crystal. Whatever you say, dude. Right, let's go hang out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to break here for now, but for when we come back, we're going to finish up the rest of Warp Room 1, get the rest of the gems and the crystals, and we're going to be tackling a boss from the original Crash Bandicoot 1. But until then, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play, and I look forward to the remainder of these parts. So until then, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.